All right, this should be the second piece that you're going to be making if you are making the long lid version of the, the box. So again, if those uh, pieces we've got uh, two long pieces with this one, which you should already have. And then there's going to be a front and a back piece. It turns out they're going to be a different height. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing today. There's, and of course, there's a base, and a lid, that. We're going to be doing these two pieces here. There's this piece, and there's this piece, and they are different heights. They're going to be very similar, but different. Um, so that is, it started with the first thing we're going to always do, which is make a four by three box so that it um, scales properly. All right. That, that, so it extrudes nicely. And in front of these are going to be two by two. And we're going to put some finger joints on them. Uh, previously, we started from the top and went down. And then now we're going to start from the bottom and go up because these finger joints have to line up with each other. And they specifically have to line up so that the part that goes out that matches up with the part that goes in on the other ones. Otherwise, they don't work. So we're going to do an eighth of an inch less an 80th for the curve by a quarter of an inch less an 80th of an inch for the curve. And we're going to Duplicate these going up. We're going up. We're going to need four of them, and they're going to be a half an inch apart. And we're not going to forget that we got to undo associate. And we trim, 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 trim. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do eighth of an inch. Less than 80th by a fourth of an inch plus an 80th or by point five. Associative, and I'm going to be careful because that's going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to flip the direction. Hit OK. I'm going to trim, 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 trim. Nope. And I'm just going to complain, and I'm just going to redraw that one little line in. All right, and then I'm not going to make one in the center here for the pin joints, the pins and joints. I am going to just make one at each corner, eighth of an inch and from each side. I'm going to be careful that these dotted lines don't appear to that are going to constrain them to other spots, or else I'm going to be more likely to mess up finger joints when I move them. And I don't want to do that. I screw the finger joints. I don't want to change them. I'm going to go from that edge to that edge. I'm going to say an eighth an inch. It doesn't look like I'm messing them up. I'm going to do again an eighth an inch. 
those appear to be all in the right location. That's with the other one. That edge. And because the other things are lined up, it is fine. And to that, there is the back. Well, I would add whatever design. Uh, and we extrude and if it includes a design that's fine if it doesn't that is also fine again this is just going to be um, uh, everything is going to need to be in sketch one as long as it is in sketch one and inside these lines here that is what we need to make sure this thing gets made properly uh you do need the extrusions to get the assembly to work right but yeah if the sketch doesn't make it on there that's fine uh the sketch doesn't have to be in closed lines that are extrudable although that does help with filling in things if i say one of these circles to be filled in you know it's nice if they are actual circles um all right, so that's that piece. I'm going to file, save as, go short, tall. This one goes full height. And then I'm going to do something. I'm going to do file, save as. And I'm just going to save it under a new name. So I have it saved twice. And the second one, I'm going to modify it. Because here's the thing, the lid is going to rest on top of this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here and make sure that this line is an eighth of an inch. Gonna now to preserve this length. This one. Maybe I have a constraint. It's gonna redraw the line. Try to make sure it is not lining up with anything. I don't want it to line up with anything. Let's try making that an eighth of an inch. Oh, there we go. It must have constrained to the center. And I'm going to delete this. And then I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to turn off the tops here. And it is a little bit shorter. And you can hit save. So now I've got a short side short and a uh, or a short side long and a short side short. Uh, and there we go. So what's going to end up happening is the lid is going to rest on the top here. So we made it a little bit shorter. It will make it easier to open the lid as well as the lid isn't going to like fall into the box. Right. There you go. Uh, so that is now four of the sides. We've got two more. We've got the lid itself and then universally the base. 